we continue our reading of Pope Francis's apostolic exhortation, Gaudete et Exultate, Rejoice and be glad, on the call to holiness in today's world. Paragraph 6. The theme is sainthood and holiness. Nor need we think only of those already beatified and canonized when we talk about saints. The Holy Spirit bestows holiness in abundance among God's holy and faithful people, for it has pleased God to make men and women holy and to save them, not as individuals without any bond between them, but rather as a people who might acknowledge him in truth and serve him in holiness. In salvation history, the Lord saved one people. We are never completely ourselves unless we belong to a people. That is why no one is saved alone as an isolated individual. Rather, God draws us to himself taking into account the complex fabric of interpersonal relationships present in a human community. God wanted to enter into the life and history of a people. No one is saved alone as an isolated individual. We entered into the life of God's chosen people. Just a very brief comment on what the Pope says. Sanctity is important. When something or someone is a saint of God, it means simply that we belong to God. Or that a liturgical object, for example, a chalice, is consecrated and, uh, uh, to use in the Holy Communion, um, it belongs to God. This is a liberating message that we practice our faith not as individuals only, but as members of the Church. And what we could emphasize in view of this, that we strive for holiness to become a better person within the local community. So, on these days, on this day, let us cherish this thought that as a Christian, wherever I'm praying, wherever I live, I belong to a particular local community. So, if we don't belong on a regular basis to a local church, let us, let us find the church in our tradition, in our parish, let us find our parish church, in other words, and join in its prayer life. Let us join its Eucharist physically too in the Sunday worship.